up until recently, all the work I did was meant for a pretty specific and not entirely circumscribed, but generally, I would say, a quite specific audience. Um, very, very little of it is designed for anything that I would imagine as a general audience. So, for instance, designing a, uh, uh, working with students to design a video about food deserts in the South Bronx, the idea is that probably the people who will use this video and screen it will be folks who are doing um, food education in areas around New York City and or other like um, inner city, inner city neighborhoods. The way people typically configure their art practice um, involves a pretty limited set of like partnerships and other actors that you might like work with to produce the work. And both, you know, in my own work as a consultant and in the work of CUP as an organization, it's always been thought of as um, anything we produce, any kind of work that we do, whether it's a process or a product, is always thought of as something that, you know, is done in collaboration with a specific community and, this, and, and other sets of institutions and kind of typically for um, and like about those institutions and those partners. So that said, um, you know, when I think about something like CUP, by the end of it, like a big part of the work or my work at the organization was figuring out how to structure it as a, as a connecting device so that it could draw upon these different communities, um, you know, draw upon the energy and specific skill sets of educators, activists, and, you know, visual artists and designers and sort of figure out what those people liked to do, what those people found rewarding, what those people had to bring to the table, and how to kind of configure those different sets of folks. I think of a lot of the work that I've done around ecological systems that are like, that would be really directly understandable as ecological systems, like work that relates to ecologies, such as the work, you know, about looking at New York City's garbage infrastructure or water infrastructure art or design thinking, um, I played, I'd say, at least two to three different roles. Um, I think one of those roles is about creating a space for observation and a space for research, uh, and a certain kind of research that is less, that's not very teleological in the sense of like, I need to find out this one thing just so I can like make people freaked out about it <laughs> or something like that, but it's sort of a way of sort of trying to maintain a certain level of, um, it's really not objectivity, but I guess just a level of receptivity to a situation. So when you're going to go visit like the Croton Aqueduct or something, you're taking in like a lot of different aspects of that situation. And that's something that we try to like bring to our students as like, here's an interesting way to like make, just make the world more interesting. And also it's a good way to kind of enter into like the politics of everyday life to be like really, uh, absorbent and kind of approaching these like things that you could view as sort of cut and dry like oh I'm just going to visit uh, a government building and it's a uh, open and shut like I know exactly what it is before I've even gone there it's sort of an opening up of receptivity of like I, this is a really strange institution and kind of inhabiting every institution as, in a slightly kind of not in a sheerly negative way but in an alienated fashion so that you're like really observing like what are the what are the belief systems that I'm inhabiting by going into like uh, an EPA EPA office. <laughs> um, so that's like one one form that I think is sort of a kind of like art thinking that that enters into like an ecological inquiry. Another is I'd say um, you know to use traditions from fine art and from design to to bring clarity to a situation. So a lot of the work that I do um, and a lot of the work that Cup does is at least at some point, is a diagram um, in the sense of trying to create some sort of image that helps people situate themselves in a larger system. Um, and and there's a lot of like really good work that a lot of <laughs> artists and designers have done over the last couple hundred years of thinking of ways to do that. And so that's, you know, like just, I feel like I draw upon that tradition like really heavily of like, oh, you know, there's, there's some te formal techniques that help people understand um, how different parts of a whole are related. Um, so that's just sort of, you know, a kind of design thinking of diagramming. And then the third piece, a big part of, of, of making work that's particularly good or useful is like producing like a, an arresting image or a dialectical image, like an image that actually will stay with somebody and be a meaningful thing for them to use as an entry point to thinking about an issue or to um, even just get their attention at all. 
and you know given that there's such a kind of cluttered uh, you know image scape like people just see hundreds and hundreds of images all the time and it's and, and particularly in I'd, I'd say not even particularly in activist work in all in all realms of life there's just quite a bit of like visual cliche like there's just a lot of stuff where it's like here's here's how you show like you know like the earth in crisis like you show a picture of the earth and it's crying particularly um, in activist work there's like a lot there's a big tradition of images that are supposed to make you upset or supposed to make you think about um, injustice or think about ecological crisis that I think for the most part a lot of those images are totally drained of their effect um, so when thinking about making a work of design or a work of art that addresses issues uh, I think a you know, you really are a big part of the work, I think, is, is trying to develop in a really, not necessarily strictly formal way, but in a way that I think partakes of, for lack of a better term, like art thinking, is really about image making. Um, and that's sort of what I feel I contribute you know, to these kinds of struggles. You know, that's, that's what I think about, that's what I'm good at doing, you know, and that's how I kind of imagine my role in these things, is like, how do you make, how do you make a powerful image? Well, I'd say that there's there's a, a large tradition of education and also advocacy communication that is primarily directed around um, producing like maybe two images, like one image of uh, what you're doing that's bad <laughs> and how like you're implicated and are bad in some way, and another image of like correct behavior that is like what is good, and so it's like this kind of moral education, um, and I'd say like a lot of you know, for instance, uh, you know, New York City in terms of its like, what what kind of education does it do around around civic education on garbage? For the most part, the education process is um, is sort of like, don't don't throw things away in the wrong container. That's bad. Like, put it in here. That's good. And like, kind of like done, <laughs> and we're out. And um, and I think that there's just a lot of folks for whom that's not like a particularly effective way to reach them or to like, it's just not. Yeah, just, it's just not effective. Um, so in a lot of the work that, that I produce, and I would say that you know, I, work, I produce with Cup and also on my own, a lot of it is about um, trying to meet people where they're at, both in terms of like knowledge level and literacy on the issue, but also just in terms of attitude. Um, so when you're working with like high school students who are not used to being, um, you know, given anything like kind of like a straight deal or straight straight up information about like how the city works and they're kind of expected to be like you know you're entering your civics class and, and the kind of focus of it is oh like you know American government is amazing like we have this miracle of democracy and that's not their experience of of democracy and that's not their experience of, of then it's sort of like how is that possibly ever going to be like an effective um, way to engage because I think that a lot of times people's cynicism about these things is not coming from like you know their like idiocy or something like that. It's coming from like actually a pretty observant, in touch place. Um, you know, not in every case, but you know, similarly, you know, particularly in like design education, a lot of times people will be like, "What do you want to see in your neighborhood?" And kids might be like, "Well, I would love it if there was like a McDonald's and like <laughs> like like uh, like an H and M or like these things and like." instead of just running with that being like, whoa, no, 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 like those are the wrong things to want. <laughs> um, I, I think there's some value in sort of being like, okay, like let's like really like kind of pull on that and like let's talk about that and you and just allow people to have their instincts and allow them to have their desires, but not just let them like, yeah, and it's fine, like whatever you want is fine, but you don't, you don't create like this frame upon which, you know, trying to want something outside of it is kind of unacceptable. And I'd say that that's like a big part of especially, I think, a lot of disengagement of people in ecological discourse is that it feels like there's like the primary way that you're asked to think about it is sort of like here's the good things to want and if you want these other things outside of it like you're kind of like morally de a deficient person and like the goal of all this work is to make it so that you want the right things <laughs> and I just don't know that's just not my my approach and I don't think that that's ultimately even if, even if your goal is to change someone's desire you can't really go through the front door in that way by just being like, want something else. <laughs> like, you know, here I made this big poster that says that like wanting a cheeseburger is bad. Like now do you feel like that? You know, like no, of course of course not. <laughs>